Hi everyone, Varina Patel here. Jay and I are excited to be able to bring you our Behind the Lens course all the way from New Zealand. The course is available right now. Let me tell you a little bit about Jay and I and what Behind the Lens is all about. Jay and I are landscape and nature photographers from the United States. We teach workshops in national parks in the U.S. and beyond, and we've also written a whole series of ebooks for photographers. Along with Johnny Spencer and Brent Mail, we run Visual Wilderness, a subscription site where nature photographers can join in regular assignments, in-depth discussions, and constructive peer review. Our work has been featured in publications around the world, and we teach seminars and webinars and speak at large events both here at home and abroad. We travel frequently, shooting in some of the most beautiful locations on Earth. We are both passionate photographers, and we spend as much time as we can in the wilderness. In May, we traveled with our film crew to New Zealand's beautiful South Island. There, we spent seven days filming a series of workshop-style lessons for photographers who want to understand the decision-making process that happens in the field. Each lesson begins with an explanation of the choices we made while we were working, from the equipment we used to the camera settings we chose. We discuss our vision for the finished image, how we made the most of the light that was available to us, and how we set ourselves up for a successful shoot. Then, we take you a little further into the workings of our minds by showing you the choices we didn't make. The mind of an artist is difficult to navigate, but this course is designed to let you look past the framed photograph hanging in the gallery so you can understand the work that happened behind the scenes. Seeing a finished masterwork might be inspiring, and you can learn a lot from understanding the decisions the photographer made in producing his work. But sometimes, in order to understand the reasons why the artist made the choices he did, it helps to see what might have happened if he had done things differently. Would a photo be as effective if the photographer had chosen a different lens, a different perspective, or different camera settings? Would the photo convey the same sense of peace and solitude if the artist had chosen a faster shutter speed instead of a slower one? Are there times when putting a filter away might be a better choice, even though it could add some benefit to the finished image? How does the artist decide what to include in the composition and what to leave out? And are there times when a photographer might go out and shoot, even when the light isn't spectacular? In this course, we'll welcome you into our world and into our minds as we share our vision, our thought process, and our fieldwork. So if you're ready to take your fieldwork to the next level, you can purchase our Behind the Lens course right now. We're looking forward to sharing our knowledge and adventures.